Gentlemen, for 39,000 pesetas. What was the name, if you please, sir? Miguel Cervantes. Cervantes? I seem to have heard that name. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present to you an authentic work of art. A coffer of the 17th century, an object of the highest artistic value, offered at the very modest figure which will open the bidding of 20,000 pesetas. 20,001 pesetas. I beg your pardon, senor, but the bids have to be increased by a thousand pesetas. I bid 25,000 pesetas. 25,000 pesetas. Good. Thank you, senora. The senora offers 25,000 pesetas. 25,000 that is going. I 25, bid 26,000 pesetas. The senor has bid 26,000. 26,000 going. 25,000 pesetas. 35,000 pesetas. I can tell you there's no use insisting. No one can bid against Doña Dolores. She's a millionaires. Petroleum and diamonds. 35,000 pesetas that it's going. 35,000 that it's going. 36,000. The senor has bid 36,000 pesetas. Ladies and gentlemen, I remind you this is a genuine work of art which is worth much more. 60,000 pesetas. Magnificent. We have reached 60,000 pesetas. Do I hear another bid? 60,000 going, 60,000 pesetas, and it's going, and it's sold to the senora. Will you put it on my account, please? Of course, senora Lopez. I'm so sorry it went against you. You mustn't let it worry you. When confronted with loveliness, I always surrender. We have here as our next item a valuable service in massive silver in the purest style of the Regency, which has come to us from the noble house of the Duke of Winning Spotford. The price which will start the bidding now but the uh, coffer, aren't you going to take it with you? No, there's no need to. They'll send it to the house. It's a pity. I would have liked to have had another look at well, it. Well, then you must come to my house this evening. I'm having a small fiesta. Most willingly. But where? Calle Almagro, 203. I'll Good. be expecting you. I'll be there. Would this be what you're looking for? <laughs> ah? <laughs> I realize, of course, that I should justify my behavior, but... You'll only tell me a lot of lies, like the ones you told me this morning, I know. Oh, no. Ah, so you admit you accepted my invitation to get that envelope back, and for no other motive. Oh, no, I accepted your invitation for entirely different motives. I... Don't move from where you are. It's no use, so don't try it. Briscoe. take another way out, otherwise you might have to make too many explanations to your guests. Yes, come with me. This way. 
What are you going to I'm do? I'm coming with you. But, oh, hurry and get the car started. If you don't want to explain yourself, at least I want to see how all this turns out. I guess I should take you home again. And what would I say to my terrified guests? Oh, we can invent some story. No, I really don't feel like playing a part this evening. About a kilometer from here, there is a place where we can take refuge. Ah, uh, that is if you're not already involved in getting rid of some other murderer later on this evening. No, I believe I'm free tonight. <laughs> We'd better hurry, it's about to start raining. Hideaways when I entertain outlaws like you. I think we'd better get these soaking clothes off at once. Here, you can put this on. Oh, thank you. Do you know how to light a fire? Sure, if you've got the wood, paper, and matches I'll need. Oh, by the way, do you have a telephone here? No, the criminals I invite here never like to be disturbed. Now, isn't this better?
appears to the success of your enterprise. Why, you think there are other obstacles between us? <laughs> I meant the enterprise that has got you in trouble. Don't you think that at last the moment has come when you should tell me at least something about yourself and what you're doing? Oh, I have no secrets. I'm just a man who's alone with a lovely woman who has the great quality of never asking questions. <laughs> I'd rather not talk about my qualities. I have a definite impression that you are fighting for a, a just cause. <laughs> and therefore, I want you to know that I consider it my duty to do what... Your duty? Let's forget about duty. Let's forget about everything. You come along with me. Right. You go that way, Pierre. friend Dick has let himself be nabbed like a stupid school kid this time. I guess love has made him kind of dim-witted. I'm awfully sorry about you, beautiful lady, but you got yourself mixed up in this business of your own free will. Hold it. What are you doing with that? She doesn't know anything at all. Could be. But in a little while, she'll know who it was that knocked you off. And if there's one thing I don't like, it's witnesses. Pardon me if I'm intruding here, but I've been searching for you all over Madrid to pay you for the damage I did to your car. And here's your payment. Goodbye. Now I'll have to be gone. Don't worry. I promise I'll let you know how it all turns out. 